here's how you can get more referrals for your business. Now, first and foremost, referrals are one of the most important things for any business because it allows you to create a network of people who support your company and kind of are like champions. Now, I've talked to many business owners and I've found that many of them have relied on referrals to grow their business, especially in the early stages. So when it comes to creating a profitable business, a lot of times you have this product that you come up with, right? And so once you have this product, and you know or service whatever it might be but let's let's just call it a product if you have this product and you're wanting to offer it to let's say x group of people now this group of people likely has some people who are already like leaders or champions or thought leaders in that community so let's say you have a health product and you want to offer it to people who have some sort of health challenge now you can likely find online communities of people who have these health challenges or are needing a specific solution and so if you can go into these groups and you can find people who could potentially be your champions it might be a good idea to provide your service or your product to them complimentary or maybe at a very reduced rate maybe just covering your own costs in order for them to give you some sort of review or referral because remember these people are going to be champions in that community when they say something everybody follows and so that's a huge leverage piece for you. And even if you had to give it to them for free completely, that's still a great marketing expense for you. Because if you're just running ads, let's say cold traffic ads, you're wanting to just bring people who have no idea who you are, no idea what your product is, no idea if it's even reputable, and you want them to just convert and buy your product, that's a bit of a harder sell than somebody who's already in that community. Now, if you have people who are in that community already, you might be able to identify them by people who are posting the most or people who are sharing the most or maybe they're hosting some sort of events or something around that space and so these people would be very valuable allies for you in business the thing is that i realized in business is you don't grow great things alone you have to have people who are there with you who are supporting you who are helping you grow um, and so these people um, they come alongside you and help propel your business forward now First and foremost, you're going to have to have these people. Secondly, you're going to want to create a product that obviously works because that's how referrals work. You're not going to get referrals if your product doesn't work. So secondly, you have to make sure that your product works. So find a product that is successful, that makes a difference for people and something that they can easily track. Now, thirdly, um, it's a bit of framing. So you have to frame the solution in a way that people can understand. And this is a very, very important aspect of business. Let's say I just give you a, you know, some sort of pill or some sort of product, like we're talking about health products. Let's say I give you a supplement and you take the supplement and you're like, okay, I don't really know what it did because I didn't tell you what it was supposed to do. But if I told you, hey, look out for this, this, and this within 30 days, or hey, within 90 days, you should expect these results. So even if you took it for 30 or 60 days, you're like, wow, you know, I took this supplement for 60 days and I didn't see any difference. Well, yeah, because you're supposed to take it for 90 days. So you see how framing makes a big difference. And you have to tell people up front because if they don't know what they're looking for, they're never going to find it. So referrals are very, very dependent on stuff like that as well. So the most successful companies that have the most referrals are the ones who know how to frame things correctly. Hey, we want to check in with you in 90 days or let's say 100 days. So after you've been taking it for 90 days, you're going to have 10 days of this amazing feeling that our supplement is going to give you. You're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel so much healthier, all these things. How can we help continue your success? So we want to have another coaching call with you. We want to have a check-in call, whatever that call is, or we want to send you a survey. Right. So that's how you start getting referrals or we want to know, uh, hey, you, you bought your first 90 days. We want to give you your next 90 days for free. But first, we want to have a, you know, a meeting with you so that you can refer two or three people to us. So that's a really, really powerful way to create a referral strategy where somebody knows where to expect the result, how to expect the result, when to expect the result, like within what time frame. And then from there, we're specifically creating an event where we're like, okay, on this day, we're going to talk to you and we're going to see if there's anybody else that you can refer. Because if you refer a friend, we'll actually give you your next 90 days free. So if you enjoyed the product, yes, you did. Okay, great. Now, can you refer one person to us? 
great you can perfect that person is going to buy our product as well and you know what as a thank you we're going to give you your next 90 days for free so you see how that's a really great value add to them because they're getting some additional coaching they're getting their product for free but they're also helping the business grow so that right there is a very powerful referral strategy um, another one that i've seen work very very well and i would say this works probably the best in software companies because it's a little bit difficult to do when you have physical products. So when you have a SaaS company um, and you're just licensing services out, this software can be marketed through an affiliate network. And so that's really, really powerful because you have such high margins in SaaS that you can pay 10, 20, 30, 40. I've seen them even pay even up to 50% of the cost that the customer is paying to the affiliates. So imagine this. There's a company out there, and by the way, there are multiple like this. There's a company out there that charges $100 a month for their product, but because it's a SaaS company, they're making like an 80% margin. So they're like, hey, affiliate, if you get people to sign up, it's not your product, you're not doing any customer service on it, you're not having to do any support, literally nothing. You just refer the person to us. Every time they pay us $100, we'll pay you 50 of that. So the affiliate is making 50 bucks off of nothing, just referring. Now imagine how attractive that would be. Every single month you make 50 bucks. And if you have 10 people, you're making $500. If you have 100 people, you're making $5,000 a month doing nothing because you refer to somebody one time. That's a really powerful way to create a referral network as well, uh, because those referrals, you know, think of it as your marketing cost, right? A typical ad spend might be 25, 30, 40 percent of your total revenue, right? So instead of doing that, instead of paying 30 percent, you're paying your affiliate 30 percent. But it's a much stronger way to convert. Um, and so that creates this network of people who are referring each other. And then, you know, you can obviously pay multiple layers of it, but most people just tend to pay that first layer. Um, so it's a great way to start building a referral network. And that way you can start getting people uh, using your product and spread it across the market. Um, and even though you're paying them a percentage because you have such a high margin business, uh, that's a great way to do it. So anyways, those are kind of the steps that go into creating a strong referral network. And finally, one thing that I would add is always ask for the referral because some people, you know, even in my own businesses, I've done this where I didn't really ask for referrals. I didn't really ask my clients for uh, people who they know that may be interested or that this product could help or this service could help. But when I asked them, they were very willing to refer people to my program or to my product or to my service because they enjoyed it themselves. It helped them and helped their business grow. It helped them make more money. So stuff like that is really valuable. And yes, it does seem kind of uh, like very basic knowledge, but people forget people don't ask for referrals. So it's very important to go out there and actually ask um, and I think that when you ask, you will receive. So as long as your product works, as long as you have those champions that are coming alongside your business and helping you promote it, as long as you're building a strong referral network and you're asking for that referral, it's going to work out and people are going to be referring people to your business. I think if you use this strategy, you can at least increase your referrals by a little bit. Um, and every referral counts. Every referral is additional revenue for your business. Alrighty guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.